Hey Kirby, where are we going? Mom's house. Hey, be serious. Cincinnati Comic Expo. So we made it to Cincinnati, All right, Lucas? Yep. We're here. We're here. Um, it's way bigger than I thought it would be. There's a line all the way like around the building. Uh, we'll give you a shot of that. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try to zoom in. That's the expo, baby. That's where we're headed. We're gonna go get our press credentials, and then we'll be in line. So we just got our press for credentials. They look pretty sweet. I'll throw it up to the camera for you. Um, front gate is right there. We're gonna go in, hopefully get some interviews, and give you guys some good footage. So uh, stay tuned. So guys, we found a content creator, um, someone who's also a podcaster like us, and we're going to have him inter introduce himself to you. Uh, my name is David C. Hayes. I am a writer and a performer, mostly a writer, and uh, we've got some really cool stuff we've been doing right now. That's actually uh, our newest book here, Rotten Tail, giant mutant Easter Bunny comic. I wrote the graphic novel. I also wrote the screenplay that stars this cat over here, Corin Neiman, who you may uh, remember from SG-1, Part of Lewis Can't Lose, Supernatural. So it's a cool new feature film. It'll be out March 2018, and uh, it's from SourcePoint Press, which is who we are here. It's the publisher. Um, horror, sci-fi, crime. We do comics. We do prose books. Uh, we've got my other miniseries, The Rot. Uh, we have a book called Nora that's really popular. And all sorts of neat, cool books and prose. And uh, we just started in the movies in The Rot Tale, so pretty cool. It's at SourcePointPress.com. You can visit my private page at David C. Hayes, H -A -Y -E -S com. Check us out. organization uh, that is worldwide actually and we have members from the Ohio Garrison, Indiana Garrisons, Kentucky Garrisons here and our primary focus is not only having movie accurate costumes but supporting charities and using those costumes to support local groups, uh, national groups like Make-A-Wish. Uh, the group that we're supporting this weekend here at the convention is Families of ASD. They are a local Cincinnati organization that support families who have children with disabilities, uh, including autism, and they will uh, carry out events like renting out Newport Aquarium or renting out events for the families to go into and enjoy, like hay rides and pumpkin patches and whatnot. Last year we were lucky enough to have raised $4,000 to support them uh, through our bounty hunt, our trench run, and our raffle. Um, so they are a great organization and we consider ourselves lucky to support them. So where can we find you all? Um, on Facebook, Twitter? No, Facebook, um, 501st.com is our main website. Um, we're on Facebook, the Ohio Garrison. That's our main page. And we also have a forum that people can get on. And there are just multiple resources where you can look up the different costumes and everything else and where we'll be and events and all that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Hey, no problem. Hey, guys, check out 501st. So guys, we're here with one of my favorite comic book people, Daryl Banks. He actually got me started reading comic books on a Green Lantern with Kyle Rayner, as you can see in this print right here. Um, he has some awesome books, and I have a huge collection of his, and, and he's just here to tell you about more what he's, he's doing right now and, and stuff like that. Go ahead. Hello everybody. Uh, those that couldn't make it here to the 
the Cincinnati Comic Expo. Uh, currently, I'm doing a lot of uh, commercial illustration, but I'm doing a lot of Kickstarter work as far as rewards and, and that sort of thing. It's like everybody's got a Kickstarter, but I'm very particular on who I you know, align myself with. But there's a lot of cool upcoming stuff you'll be looking forward to seeing, I'd say, early next year. Uh, also, there's going to be a, a, a Kyle Rayner uh, trade paperback coming out next month, so be sure to, all Kyle fans, be sure to pick that up. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Max, for your time. Thank you. What's up, guys? We're here with Christina Bowling. With, uh, she's with Kentucky Kaiju, and uh, we're just going to let her tell her uh, what she does and, and where we can find her at. Uh, yeah, so I'm an illustrator um, for Kentucky Kaiju. It's a field guide to um, a lot of different real places, counties, cities that are all throughout Kentucky and then we created monsters to go with those places. Some are good, some are bad. Um, some protect local, you know, drug stores. Um, and so yeah, one of the illustrators, Justin Stewart, is another one of them. We split up the, the creatures. There's 50 in the book. Um, and here's the book here. Um, I also do a lot of illustrative work. Um, one of my characters is Draculama here. It's a comic book. He feeds off people who cause drama. Uh, so I have a few of his, and uh, the newest is from Inktober this past year, where I did a panel each day to introduce his foe. It's kind of Ben Helsing sort of character. So that's my work. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Tressa Bowling. Um, and uh, on my Facebook page as well, Tracina Art. Well, thank you so much for your time. Oh, yeah, thank you guys. What's up, guys? We're here with Midnight 27 Studios, and we're just kind of figuring out what they're doing, where we can find them. So, take it away. Hey, guys, my name's Adam Fields. I'm with Midnight 27 Studios. Um, you can find me at midnight27studios.com. Um, basically, I do uh, a lot of commission work, book covers, but primarily I write my own series called Proud. Um, it's about a vigilante werewolf. Uh, I've got three issues out and more ones to count. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, guys? We're with, here with Tony Ackery. Um, he is an author. Um, where are you based out of? Based out of Goshen, Kentucky, near Louisville, Kentucky. So, Hydra Publication is a genre press. We cover uh, science, fantasy, science fiction, thrillers, mysteries, romance, a little bit of horror, a little bit of everything. My own series is about bounty hunter Victor McCain finds out his only brother Mike is sold to his soul to the devil, and he's got 24 hours to find a certain girl before the brother goes south. Or actually, thriller set in the Louisville, Kentucky area. We have James Gillen with us here today. He is the award-winning author of the Paul Isaac Vampire series. So, when it comes to genre presses, we won the award for Best Thought Press in the Region at Imaginarium, the region's largest writers' conference. So, uh, we're an up-and-coming press. So, uh, but we're, we're always excited to be here at the Cincinnati Comic Expo. They do a fabulous job here, and the people are just great. So, I mean, we like to come in. Again, we're not, the, we're not the quiet authors. We're the ones they sometimes have to ask to leave, you know, for excessive celebration. So, that's us. Well, guys, here's some of his books. It'll do a quick sweep, and if you guys see anything... Hey, guys. The compilation, the first three books, all in one book, it includes the number one best-selling short story, Nightmare, only available in print in this omnibus version of the Victor McCain thriller. So check out our books, you're really going to love them. And if you're a Kindle reader or a Kindle Unlimited reader, all our books are available for Kindle Unlimited readers. And on Kindle, our most expensive book, other than our omnibus, is $3.99. You're going to love the prices. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. Guys, check them out. They have tons of books here. So if you're looking for anything to read or, or anything just out of your normal genre, check these guys out. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. See ya. How's it going, guys? We're here with Krista. Uh, she's from Ringtail Cafe, and she's a content creator. And she's just here to tell you about where you can find her content, content, what her content is, and uh, just kind of plug her, her Hi, we're actually with Ringtail Cafe. We are a publishing uh, company of comics and games. We've got a variety of different books with us um, here today at the Cincinnati Comic Expo. Um, our most popular comics by far is the Confectionaries. It's an all-age fantasy series where all the characters are made of sweets and candies brought to life magically by a wizard. And today we actually have Yuck with us. He is a tofu puppy. I don't think anyone likes him because he's not sweet. Well, thank you so much, Krista. Well, um, you guys should check her out. She's got plenty of games and books. Um, and just check 
Moscow Ringto Cafe. Guys, this is Rich Bloom. He is an illustrator for comics. And uh, Rich, where can we find your, your art? Uh, I'm on uh, Instagram at uh, retrobotart.com. That's my website, but it's about art.com. Instagram, same. And uh, Twitter, it's uh, uh, I'm uh, yeah, an illustrator, graphic designer. I work on uh, Hadrian's Wall on Image Comics, as well as Kyle. Um, yeah, I do robot sketches every single day. Kind of fun little warm up. So do you have any books out right now that we can talk uh, about? Wall is actually a uh, graphic novel that comes out in, the issues are out right now, the graphic novel comes out in like a week or two, I think next Wednesday. So you can pick up the collected edition. Um, it's written by Kyle Higgins. Rod Race is the artist on it. I'm the designer. So it was a lot of fun to work on. It's cool, like sci-fi bro mystery series. So if you guys are looking for a new read, um, Rich has, uh, what is it again? Hardian's? Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's, Wall. Hadrian's Wall. Guys, check it out. Um, trade's coming out soon. So everything's there you need. So, just wrapped up our first press for uh, Comic Con. What did yeah. you think about it? Cincinnati Comic Expo was great. Um, they were super nice to us to allow us to even be considered press where we're, I mean, we're a fairly new podcast, but uh, they put on a great show. Like, there was a bunch of vendors, a bunch of content creators. Like, I mean, you'll, you know, you've listened to our interviews up to this far. Uh, it was great. Like I got to meet, we got to meet four different podcast people. Um, met a content creator from Lexington, which is where Lucas lives right now, and actually have like another step of another event we can do. So all in all, like it was great. Like the panel, we went to two panels, had fun in the first one with like these illustrators, which was fun. Um, and then the second one we went to was informational for us as a growing media kind of deal and it it kind of it was kind of an affirmation of hey we're we're going in the right steps but all in all solid comp solid expo all right what was your favorite experience from the con um you guys can probably tell from the interviews because like i think i did the longest intro for this guy but daryl banks getting to meet him uh that was probably my favorite part just because that guy actually got me solid set into comics like and it was just cool because you know I, I had never thought I was going to get to meet him, let alone interview him kind of like I wasn't really interview obviously he was just plugging his stuff but like just getting able to talk to him and to make content with him in it was awesome uh, it was also really cool to uh, to like just hand out cards and talk to the different content creators because we're all in the same boat we're just trying to get our stuff out there because we want people to enjoy it. Anything else you want to say about the con? Um, it was it was a solid con. Like I'd never been pressed at a convention. I went to another Lexington Comic Con. I went to Lexington Comic Con. That was another convention I went to. And it was good. Both great cons. It just it was a different experience. I don't know. I felt like not only did I enjoy myself, but I felt like I, I felt more productive. Because you know we were recording stuff, so it's it's always fun when you get to go do stuff you enjoy, but also make content with it. It makes it even more fun. What about you? This was your first con. This was my first con ever. I'd never been to LexCon or anything like that. It was walking in to the well, first off, driving up and seeing the line of hundreds of people wrapped around the corner was just insane then getting in and just walking in and seeing the just the floor itself just all the comic books all that it was a whole lot to take in something that i wasn't expecting to see like right there just you know like i didn't i didn't know what to expect it was my first one ever going so 
Yeah, and we, we also we got to tell about how we got in. <laughs> we kind of cut line, but didn't mean to. Yeah. So Kirby, in his infinite wisdom, and I say that in a good way because it was awesome. It saved us about an hour or more Wait till, yeah. waiting. But so we get there, we park, and we see this line of, I mean, hundreds of people wrapped all the way around the building. And he's like, oh, we have to go to Will Call first to pick up our, our, badges. our badges, and then we have to go get in line to get in. So I was like, okay, you know, let's go. So yeah, I mean, that's what we got to do. We got to go do it. Instead of walking to the end of the line, and we started in like the middle of the line, so we had yeah. to walk up in front of all these people, and we just walked up. There was a sign. There was a sign that said "Pick up tickets here," and then that was the door was locked. Yeah. So we just went. We we're like, "Oh, well, we'll ask one of the security people." Or Kirby was like, oh, "We'll ask one of the security people." I was content with going to the back of the line at that point. But uh, so he went up and asked him, and she was like, "Oh yeah, you just go right through there. You can go through the through this and get in." It was like the cosplayer security check was just a way shorter line because not everybody dresses up, but there was a lot of people yeah. dressed up and. They had a separate security line because I guess it's more intense. She goes, yeah, you got to go through security. You'll just go through here. It's fine. And I was like, what, really? And she goes, yeah, it's fine. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we just walked, walked straight in. in. Yeah. And found it. We got some cool stuff. We bought some stuff. Yeah. So, and there, that's very glary because it's laminated and there's sun. Also, I'm doing this backwards. There we go. Got cool press passes, schedule events, all that stuff. And we got prints. And we got two books. So we got two, two books. Two, two books. books. Two prints. Two no, prints. three books. Three books. You got two books. I got one book, and then I, we each got a print. I got three books. I got Rotten Tail. Yep. I got Kentucky Kaiju. Yeah. And I got. Uh, the, the novel of uh, uh, sins of unforgiven sins or something. No, I feel bad for not I know that I got I got the Daryl Banks print, and then I got uh, Hand of God, which is a it's a novel. Like these are legit novels too, like not kind of like graphic novels. Like yeah, sins of Retrib retribution. The Hand of God is what Kirby got from the guy. He was really cool. Oh yeah, it, very energetic. You'll especially tell the for a writer. Uh, that's all I can reach right now, so that might have to wait until later. So, well, bye.